A battle of David and Goliath. Two groups are suing the state to stop Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield, the largest health insurer in New Jersey, from a massive reorganization plan the state approved last month. Plaintiffs claim it'll lead to a spike in premiums for policyholders. And now the plaintiffs, New Jersey Citizen Action and the Health Professionals and Allied Employees Union, are taking it a step further, requesting New Jersey's Department of Banking and Insurance put the whole plan on hold while this litigation plays out. Senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan reports. Those 3.6 million policyholders are the most important factor here, and the stakes are incredibly high. Maura Collings grew deeply concerned about 3.6 million Jersey policyholders who depend on health care from Newark-based Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield after the Murphy administration recently greenlighted a major corporate reorganization at the insurance giant that gives up almost one-third of its reserve capital. Would that push up costs for policyholders? What does that do to premiums? And that question is unanswered. Right. There is no assurances there. And there is, you know, other than Horizon's contention, well, we don't intend to raise premiums. <laughs> you know, your intention is not really a protection for the policyholders of the people of New Jersey. That's why her organization, New Jersey Citizen Action, appealed the decision by Jersey's Department of Banking and Insurance, or DOBE, to approve Horizon's reorganization. Joining in the suit, a major New Jersey health care workers union who warned the state of New Jersey's putting policyholders at risk without doing due diligence to ensure this move by Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield, our biggest insurer, is in their best interests. Plaintiffs say that's required by law. We know that there's you know, benefit to the company. We don't have those same assurances that there's benefit to the policyholders. And that should have been the priority, benefit to the policyholders. We've done innumerable numbers of reviews of transactions like this around the country. And uh, this is one of the worst we've ever seen. Plaintiff's attorney Jason Adkins claims Dobie's order provides Horizon with its long-coveted loophole to spin off for-profit subsidiaries in medical devices, for example, investing $300 million of its reserves while still operating as a not-for-profit mutual holding company. In return, Horizon would pay New Jersey $1.25 billion in lieu of taxes, $600 million of it up front. That's basically stripping the insurers of 30% of their capital, which will inevitably have a, an upward impact on premiums. And how do we know that? Because Horizon testified that higher taxes means higher premiums repeatedly in these proceedings. Adkins says Dobie ignored that and never scrutinized Horizon's for-profit investments either. The appeal notes the order does not offer specificity or any firm commitments as to how or when the $300 million distribution would be used. Dobie's placing policyholders and charitable assets at possible risk, says plaintiff's attorney Renee Steinhagen. That $300 million, where is it going? What, where is it at risk? What companies is it being invested in? How is this going to impact the health and security of the insurer? The truncated uh, record and then saying that the business plan was not relevant is a, is a major aspect of our claim that her decision was arbitrary. The lawsuit also asserts Dobie rushed public hearings and didn't properly reach out to policyholders. Adkins claims Horizon submitted positive letters of support from its own employees. You have a failed notice process that inequitably reached some policyholders and not others, and then Horizon gaming it with these, these phony uh, uh, letters of approval, which the commissioner then cites in reliance of her order saying, look, see, there's enthusiastic support by policyholders for this transaction. The structure and their license that they've gotten from the state now um, on how they will operate going forward does not bode well for either the policyholders 
the general public. It puts at risk that the uh, insurer will be able to keep, uh, keep premiums affordable. Steinhagen says this isn't the first time Horizon sought to operate outside its nonprofit status, making the lawsuit a deja vu for opponents. Horizon, an underwriter of NJ Spotlight News, had no comment and isn't named in the appeal, which focuses on Doby. It stated the department doesn't comment on pending litigation. The appeal requests Doby's order be set aside. We deserve more, we need more, and that is why we brought this case. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.